Welcome to Epidemiology. One of the things that is often confusing for people when they study epidemiology or when they try to identify uh, characteristics of a test is the principles of sensitivity and specificity. So today we're going to try to simplify that concept. Sensitivity and specificity are characteristics of a test. The sensitivity of a test is the ability of the test to correctly identify people who actually have the illness or disease that we're interested in looking at. Specificity is the ability of the test to correctly identify those people who do not have the illness that you're interested in identifying. That seems pretty straightforward. However, um, because we're rarely able to measure the actual disease, it's not straightforward. We usually have to measure some other thing besides the characteristic of the disease. Usually some kind of marker, a blood test or a hormone or uh, physical function. So to make it simple today, I've, de I've decided to use an example about emotions. In our explanation of sensitivity and specificity, we're going to try to identify the, as best we can the people who are either grumpy or not grumpy. The people under the yellow or the gray curve here, those people are actually grumpy, the emotion grumpy. The people here on the purple curve are not grumpy. They, they are, they don't have any uh, emotional grumpiness. However, we can't measure an emotion. All we can measure is the expression that somebody has. So along this bottom line, we have some indicators of this, this person's emotion or facial uh, expression is, is grumpy. This is unknown. And of course, we have a smile, which would mean that you're not grumpy. Now, what, as we define our description of whether somebody's grumpy or not, we get to decide at what facial expression is somebody uh, characteristically grumpy or not. So if I make that line right here, most would say that's the best we can do. It's kind of splitting down the middle. What we're going to have is because all of these people underneath here are grumpy, they have the illness, our sensitivity, the ability to correctly identify those who have it, we would have these people are grumpy with a positive test and these people are not grumpy with a negative test. Uh, we've identified most of the people who are grumpy. It's not perfect. The sensitivity is off because these people we're going who actually do have the emotion of grumpy are not identified correctly. They have a negative test result. So the sensitivity in this case is going to be off. Our specificity will also be off because these are the people who are not grumpy, who don't have the disease. However, some of those people who are not grumpy because of their facial expression at that moment, um, we we've said are grumpy. So while somebody may not be experiencing the emotion, their face may be confused or frustrated, um, or they may just have no facial expressions um, due to some other reason, and they will not be correctly identified. So our specificity is pretty good, maybe 80%. Our sensitivity is pretty good, maybe 90%. That would be one cutoff. But it's not the only cutoff. We could take another cutoff. We could instead say, you know what? I want to make sure that I never say that somebody is grumpy when they really aren't. So if I set my group there, my sensitivity of the test, this facial expression, goes way down. These people have the illness, but if you notice, we've only correctly identified the people here on the left side of that line, and a lot more people on the right side of the line um, who are grumpy, we've said, nah, they're not really grumpy. They're they just aren't showing any facial expression. However, all of the people who are 
have the emotion not grumpy are identified correctly. There's nobody that we've said um, is grumpy who really is not. So we, we see here as we move that line our interpretation of facial expression from left to right. We can manipulate the sensitivity and specificity of a test. It's also important to keep in mind that this relationship between sensitivity and specificity is an inverse relationship as in as the specificity increases as we did in this case we lost some sensitivity we can do the same thing the other way if we make our line right here we have a hundred percent sensitivity and our specificity now is fifty percent so as you keep in mind sensitivity and specificity it's important to understand that this is an arbitrary line we've drawn in our in our in this case our facial expression to identify the real disease and that arbitrary line can be moved back and forth to alter the sensitivity and specificity um, depending on the purpose of the test and that is a simple explanation of sensitivity and specificity in other videos We'll talk about how to calculate those things and also how to interpret um, test results uh, as when you get a positive or test a negative test result and you're uh, working with a specific patient, how to interpret whether those um, test results are correct.